Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under, and today I'm going to be talking about the most overpowered weapon in the game, the Max's R870 MCS mod. Now before we start, if you guys want me to go and do a review of the new bikini skins in combat arms, make sure to go and drop a like on the video and I'll definitely get around to it. Now this gun has been in the game for quite a long time and I've had it in my inbox for quite a long time, but I've never actually gotten around to using this weapon. Everybody has said it's the most overpowered weapon in the game, but I had to go and try it myself. So I activated this weapon and I went to the game and realized this is the most overpowered weapon I've ever used. Not only in combat arms, but the history of every single video game I've ever gone and played that's a first person shooter. And to show you guys why, let's get straight into the statistics. Now, this gun has a damage of 83, portability of 70, rate of fire of 30, and recoil of 59, with the ammo capacity being 9 over 36. Let's have a look at the damage first, and it's 83. That means a 2-shot kill in close range and a 3-shot kill at medium range. Now... When you have a look at, let's say, the normal R870, which is classified as a really bad weapon, a very low tier, pretty shitty weapon in combat arms, it has a damage of 75, that means a 2 shot kill in close range, and that means a 3 shot kill at medium range. So what's the difference between the normal R870 and the Max's R870 MCS mod? Well, it's the rate of fire. The rate of fire is 30. This gun fires so, so extremely fast, there is nothing to go and compare it with. If you go and compare it to the original R870, this weapon has a fire rate of 17. The Max's R870 MCS mod is almost double the fire rate of the original weapon. That is absolutely insane. Now, what? how does this translate in-game? Well, that means you can go and put those three lethal buckshots out in an extremely short amount of time, meaning that time to kills on this weapon generally are around half a second. Someone pops out in front of you, you just go click, 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 and they're dead. Now, if they're in close range, it's just click, click, they're dead. So it's obviously going to be even more lethal in close range. But most of the time, in medium range, it doesn't matter if you're versing some machine guns or assault rifles, this gun has a much, fire, a much faster time to kill. And so, really, you're going to win the majority of firefights, and it doesn't matter if someone gets a drop on you, you can twitch around, you can put those two or three shots into them, and they are going to be definitely, definitely dead. Now, with that, you would think, okay, this gun is already too good. But what else makes this gun so good? Well, Nexon went and introduced a very low recoil statistic for this gun. It's 59. Now, most shotguns have relatively low recoil, but they're kind of upset by low fire rates. But this case, it has the recoil of the original R870, actually lower, one point lower. The normal R870 has a recoil of 60. In this case, the MCS has a recoil of 59. It has relatively low recoil, a high fire rate. So that means you'll be able to fire at max fire rate and still easily, easily control this gun's recoil. You barely even need to pull down. It's actually helping you in such a way this recoil because the more you fire, the more it goes up, obviously. That's how recoil works. But that means you're going to be more likely to hit your opponent's head. So it actually goes and helps you this recoil in such a way. And you can find it on different weapons like the M416 CQB. It will go and kick up a little bit and kick up towards the head. That's really nice. But with the Maxes, only one of the pellets that this gun goes and has needs to go and connect onto the opponent's head because it doesn't matter what you're using in this game, be it a pistol, be it a knife, be it a sniper rifle shot, be it a buck shot, one of the little bucks from a shotgun, it's going to be a one-shot kill to the head. So aim at the head is extremely lethal because it doesn't matter how bad your aim is. If you aim in the general vicinity of a person's head, you're more than likely going to go and get the headshot. And there is many examples in the gameplay you guys are seeing right now. So in conclusion, I when I do reviews, I usually go and say, would I recommend it or wouldn't I recommend it? Well, in this case, I'm not going to recommend this weapon because it's definitely not very fair. If you want to go and stomp on someone that's annoying you in-game, yeah, whip out the maxes and destroy them. But if you're playing a normal public game, just... 
don't bring this weapon, or go into the elite modded room where someone's saying you can't go and run it, or do something along those lines, because this gun is just not fair in any way, shape, or form, and in my six or, year, six or so years of playing Combat Arms, I have not gone and experienced a weapon this good. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this quote-unquote review. If you did, make sure to go and give it a like rating. But other than that, it's Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under. Out.